Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see the true intentions of the person coming toward you. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into these messages. Give me messages please, Holy Spirit. For everyone that watches this reading, when it comes to the person who is coming toward my viewers, what are that person's true intentions toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? What are that person's true intentions toward my viewers when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. Alright, so let's see what comes out here. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck we have beauty. So this person is hoping to come in and charm you. They also want to try a more lighthearted approach. They want you to view them as someone who's kind-hearted and graceful. With rejection being right beside that, this person has a fear when it comes to abandonment. They also fear you rejecting them as well. Now, it's also giving energy of this person trying to approach you in a kind manner in order for you to dismiss any fears that you have in regards to them. For a few of you, this person could have made you feel rejected. For others of you, you could reject this person when they come in. At the top of the deck, we have hoping. So they're going to be coming in, renewing your hope in regards to the two of you making things work. It's also giving energy of this person manifesting a new beginning with you or just manifesting that everything works out in their favor. Give me more. They also want you to view them as someone who's attractive, both inside and out. Thank you. We have apology. So they could be coming in to try and get your forgiveness. This person is missing you and they're craving your energy. At the top of the deck, we have running. So this person is regretting a point in time when they were running away from the connection. It's also giving energy of this person feeling invisible when it comes to you. So they could feel as though you're ignoring them. I also feel like this person has a tendency to disappear on you as well. Give me more. But yeah, they want you to see them as someone who's beautiful inside and out. And they definitely feel that way about you. They feel like you have a kind soul. Thank you. We have broken. So this person is wanting you to nurture the connection again. Like I said before, they're wanting to create a new start after they may have done something to shatter your trust or after they did something to hurt you. Right beside that, we have chemistry. So they are still attracted to you and they're coming in to renew the spark. This person is also feeling the effects of some type of decision that they made. So they're hoping that you'll be open to being receptive and they're also hoping that you'll be vulnerable with them. This person could also come in trying to gain your empathy in regards to something that they've been going through. It's either in regards to a financial situation or it could be in regards to some type of trouble that they've gotten themselves into. So yeah, this person still has a lot of passion for you and they're wanting to make things work because they know that they won't be able to replace you easily. Give me more. Thank you. We have past life. This card is all about deja vu, repeated patterns, as well as karmic lessons. So I do feel like this person put you through a toxic cycle and is giving energy of them wanting you to repeat a cycle with them. If there has been a disconnect between the two of you, this person is really upset about it. 
they could also be suffering from depression at the top of the deck we have boundaries so it's going to be very important for you to maintain your boundaries when this person comes in some of you have had enough of them but others of you who are wanting to make things work, it's going to be very important for you to draw a line with this person and don't be afraid to say no. It's giving energy of this person coming in for a new start, but at some point in time, they'll start repeating past patterns. So that's why your boundaries will be very important. Give me more. What are this person's true intentions? Thank you. We have blessing. And that card came out crossing. If you notice, it came out on top of apology. So it's giving energy of this person wanting to have makeup sex with you. Some of you view this person as non-committal. If there has been third party interference, this person is wanting your forgiveness. If you know that there's someone else in the picture, they feel as though the other person cannot compare to you. At the top of the deck, we have withdrawn. So they either want you to remain single or they don't want to see you with anyone else. This person is lonely without you. And it's also giving energy of them wanting to distract you from other options. Now, with the lesson card coming out crossing, this person could feel as though you are no longer attracted to them or you no longer view them as someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. This lesson card is also about something being forbidden. So this person feels as though you've limited access. So they could come in trying to get you to lower your guard. Yeah, they want full access to you. And any of you who have decided to stop dealing with this person, the thought of them gaining access to you again turns them on. So it's giving energy of them possibly wanting to seduce you or to tempt you out of your boundaries. Give me more. Also, and this is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. If this person did choose someone else over you, they're not truly interested in the other person. Not on a romantic level. It's coming out like they got involved with someone for reasons other than attraction. Hmm. So now they're sorry that they made the wrong choice. But like I said, that's not for everyone. So please don't force that to fit. Thank you. All right. So we have loyalty and that card came out crossing. So they know that you don't trust them. They also know that they have not been reliable. For a few of you, they're afraid that you're not going to believe anything that they say when they do come in. This is someone who's wanting to regain your trust. So they're going to come in trying to redeem themselves by proving that they're capable of being loyal. At the bottom of the deck, we have shocking. So they want to shock you a little bit or do something that's unexpected. Some of you may view this person as someone who's troubled or they could have put you through a lot of turmoil. They're having a realization in regards to you. And they feel as though you're their soulmate. They feel like the two of you are meant to be connected. They have a very deep love for you. But it may have taken you to set boundaries with this person. Or to cut them off in order for them to understand how much you mean to them. And it shouldn't have taken that, but this is someone who has to learn the hard way. So ever since you've been saying no to them, ever since you've been drawing lines, ever since you let this person know that enough is enough, they've been feeling some type of way ever since. So yeah, even if you were to decide to reunite with this person, the boundaries are going to be everything. Do not let your guard down. 
Hmm. So yeah, they want to shock you. They want to do things that are unexpected because they feel as though you expect them to be untrustworthy. They think you expect them to be unreliable. So they want to show you that they are capable of being trusted. Give me more. Thank you. Some of you may view this person as a dog or you may feel like they're no good. All right, we have depth and that card came out crossing. So this is someone who can be really shallow, especially on an emotional level. And one of the reasons they are shallow is because of outside interference. I feel like they're easily influenced. For some of you, this person doesn't want to be viewed as being hard up for a man or being a simp. So yeah, they may have let people outside of the relationship influence some of their decisions and some of their behaviors. The crazy thing is this person knows your worth. They know your value, but they care too much about what other people think of them. So yeah, they don't want to be looked at as someone who's head over heels in love. They could have a reputation of being a playboy or a playgirl. That is so childish. They're also realizing certain things about themselves that they were not aware of in the past. Give me more. Thank you. We have heart fog. So this person's intention is to get you to open up. They want you to value them again. They also want you to make them a priority. But with the heart fog card being here, it lets me know that initially this person could express emotion but as the relationship progresses, they'll start sending you mixed signals. Yeah, they could express some emotion initially, but eventually they'll start blocking out their emotions again. And see, that's one of the things that has messed things up between the two of you in the past. Them sending you mixed signals, you not knowing where you stand with them. Some of you may have even felt like this person was not attracted to you. It's just giving energy of them making you feel like you're lacking in some way. All because they come off as though they don't know what they want. All because they don't feel comfortable expressing themselves. And this is going to sound really weird, but I see it, so I'm going to say it. For some of you, this person would intentionally send you mixed signals or they would block out their emotions because they didn't want you to know how good of a man or woman you are. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's what I'm seeing here. This person knows that you're a good man or a good woman. You're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Now, they may not be aware of the term divine feminine or divine masculine, but this person knows that you're a good man or woman. And so... They would intentionally send you mixed signals to cause you to be insecure, to cause you to question yourself, to cause you to question your worth, when in reality, they knew your worth all along. They were just hoping you wouldn't know your worth. Mm. That's sad. At the top of the deck, we have rejection. See, deep down, they feel like you're too good for them. There's something about you that this person feels threatened by. Or I'll just say they feel intimidated by it. Now, it'll be different for all of you. There's just something about you that triggers this person. Even if you have children with someone else, they feel intimidated by that. They're also intimidated by you because they know that you're a good man or a good woman and they have this irrational fear that you'll abandon them. 
So if there were times when this person came off moody for no reason, or they was all of a sudden start sending you mixed signals, if they will all of a sudden block you out, it was because of their own insecurities. They have abandonment issues. It's giving I'd rather leave before I get left type of energy. That's so weird. They definitely have abandonment issues though. It seems like it comes from mother issues, but it could definitely be abandonment by a father. It could be that they didn't receive a lot of nurturing energy from a feminine figure in their life. But there's something a little bit off when it comes to this person being in touch with their feminine side. But if it's not that, I feel like there's a feminine figure in this person's life that made them feel abandoned or who dismissed them. This is a lot. Give me more. What are this person's true intentions toward my viewers? Thank you. All right. We have influences and we have peace. So their intention is to come in and make a peace offering with you. Yeah. They want to come in and restore balance. They also want to influence you in some way. Hmm. Huh. This is giving energy of this person wanting you to be attached to them. And they feel as though they can accomplish that by coming toward you with peaceful energy. They have also been spying on you. For some of you, there's someone this person has a bond with, someone who they're close to who helps them to spy on you or who gives them information about you. It could even be they give this person advice about you, okay? But yeah, so they've been spying, trying to see if you're open to giving them another chance, looking for clues in regards to whether you're open to making amends. Be careful with this person trying to trap you Because for some of you, they could even try and trap you with a child. Now, if you're unable to have children, this person could try and trap you in a new beginning because they know that you would be someone good to settle down with. Wow. So there's a lot going on here. A lot going on. I'm going to pull a few more cards and then I'm going to end the reading. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have running. And that card came out crossing. So their intention is to stop you from getting away. At the bottom of the deck, we have pride. If there has been a breakup or a disconnect between the two of you, I feel like this person never wanted you to go or they may have wanted you back immediately. They may have regretted letting you get away or they may have regretted walking away. Regardless, they let their pride get in the way of making amends with you sooner. It's giving energy of them making it seem as though they don't care that you're distant. They don't care if you were to get away, but that couldn't be the furthest from the truth. I feel like this person's ego, their arrogance, and them being stubborn has caused them a lot of misfortune. Yeah, their ego is their worst enemy. They never wanted you to walk away. For some of you, this person could have walked away from you out of pride, out of ego. And even if they wanted to return, they may have avoided making amends with you all out of pride. They would resist the temptation to reconcile with you, even though they feel as though you're the only one for them. And that's really sad. So yeah, this person's gonna be coming in, trying to get on your good side, trying their best to be graceful, 
they're hoping that you will show them grace as well in regards to anything that they have done to hurt you. So this person is going to be returning to you. They could ask you for forgiveness. For others of you, if you are connecting with this person currently, they're going to be trying their best to make things work. They know they messed up in the past. They know that the trust is broken. They know that you view them as someone who's inconsistent, unreliable, but this person feels as though they have a point to prove, especially when it comes to them being capable of loyalty. So if you do want to make things work with this person, the feelings are mutual. It's just that their pride is in the way. Like I said before, their arrogance, ego, and them being stubborn will be their downfall. If you are interested in reconciling with this person or if you're wanting to make things work, whenever they start sending you mixed signals, whenever you notice them sabotaging the connection, draw a line. Your boundaries are for your protection. It's unfair for you to be devoted to someone who's resistant to the connection or someone who wants to cut their feelings on and off like a light switch. All right. And so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.